All right, so I'm going to try and teach our math lesson like this. Uh, I can't tell if you can see what I see, but I just noticed. Look at this. Look, it says I'm made in Chang. What the heck? I don't know why it says that. That's weird. All right, but what you need to do is you need to open up. We're in, oh, that didn't print, right? It's all right. We'll make it work anyway. You need to open up um, to page 300 in your book. We're going to go over this. I think it's 391. It is 391. Go ahead and open that up. It's going to look like this. Let's see which way is what the... There we go. And this is how we're going to do this today. Actually, I'm probably going to... I need to make this bigger. This is way too small. So let me do... I know I can pin this screen, right? That's the move. Oh, totally the move. All right. I don't know if you can still see me. If you can, cool. If you can't, meh, whatever. All right. So what we're going to do right here is we are going to solve this today. So this is multiplying fractions with the number line, okay? And uh, our basic real-life application of a number line is a ruler. You can see the ruler right here. A ruler is a number line. This one starts at zero, and it gets cut off at four inches. So it's a number line from zero to four, all right? There's two ways that we do multiplying fractions, right? The first way is written like this. And we're going to do exactly what it says. So please follow along with me and do this in your book. Shade and label three half inch sections of the ruler. Okay. So I know I'm going to do three half inch sections, three groups of one half. You're probably already thinking you know what that multiplication sentence is, right? It's going to be three groups of one half is three times one half. So we'll shade and label three uh, one half sections. So let's do this like that. Here's one half inch. That's the first one. One. Here's the second one half inch. Two. And here's the third one half inch. That's three one half inch sections. You can see that this is one half, this is one half, and this is one half. Right there. All right. Three sections of one half inch are where did I wind up? I wound up at one and one half inches. And similarly, three times one half is one and one half. Can I get is that can I see that like ugly looking pin? There we go. That's better. So that is you should have on your paper. So that's one way of doing it. This is the first kind of multiplication uh, you'll see. Three times one half. Three groups of one half. So now let's look at part number two. It's the other way of doing this. Shade and label one half of three inches section of the ruler. Well, here, from here to here is three inches, okay? Now I need to shade and label a half of that. Well, half of that would be exactly right here. And I will, that is half of three inches and it's exactly the same answer. It's one and one half inches. You can see that, that's my arrow right there. And the bottom part is one half times three or one half of three. This, I, I've said this before, but what the word of in in math always means uh, multiply, multiply, right? The word of always means multiply. So one half of three is one half times three. One half times three equals one and one half. And if you know, these are the two ways you'll be doing multiplying of fractions, right? So what you should know about that is that the communicable property, uh, commutative property of multiplication, right? Three times one half equals one half times three, just vice versa. And that's the picture. So this is exactly how you're going to model it. And you'll be able to do some more on our next video. Okay, so get ready to watch the next video and we'll solve more problems together.